Over a period of three days, more than 1,000 women in the La Paya were massacred. That's the history Victoria Milstein learned on the March of the Living. As part of the trip, she walked through Auschwitz and specifically the women's section. I walked through the women's camp and I thought, I as an artist, we're the canaries in the coal mine. I've got to do work that has to do with the story of the women and children in the Holocaust. This led her on a journey to create a monument to these women, grandmothers, mothers, daughters, sisters, and to educate the public on the atrocities of hate. And she remembered a photograph. I saw a picture of this five generation of women right before they were brutally murdered. They were being photographed. And you know how when you see something, you can't undo what you've seen? It's like I saw this and I was changed forever. The word monument sits at the intersection of sculpture and sign. These signs stand as a public form of education. In the center, you see the matriarch of the family. They were told to strip, and she would not take off her boots. I see within her such a resilience. I see within her all of the women and children that have been victims of ge genocide. And I see in her everything the opposite of what the Nazi soldiers were trying to commemorate by photographing them is the inhumanity, as them being less than human. Shelley Weiner is a Holocaust survivor. She credits her mother and aunt for saving her and her cousin. I would not be here if my mother was not the strong, brave, courageous woman she was. Because I was four years old. Can you imagine keeping a four-year-old quiet? Honoring her mother is why Shelley is lending the image of her hands to the project. These are my mother's hands. <laughs> my mother and I had the same head. When I look at my hands, I see my mother. Anti-Semitism is at one of the highest it's been in our country. I don't know exactly the correlation. I don't know what has to do with the pandemic. I, I, I'm not even sure about that. But what I'm sure about is that this is work that has to be done. I think it's so appropriate having this monument here in Greensboro of women. Because Greensboro, I, is a unique community. Uh, it has accepted the differences of people a lot more than the communities around us. And I know that this monument will be appreciated by our community.